Hello kid, it's more fun learning here at Vigify. This time, we will learn inferring the meaning of compound words using context clues in English 5, Module 2 in Quarter 1. Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell. Compound words are words formed by putting two or more words together to form a new word with a new meaning. Ang compound words ay ang bagong salita na nabuo matapos pagdugtungin ang dalawa o higit pang mga salita upang makabuo ng bagong salita ngunit may bagong kahulugan. Ang compound words mao ang mga pulong nga maporma human nga iuban ang duha o lubaw, labaw pa nga mga pulong aron makahimo og bag-o nga pulong nga adunay laing kahulugan. For example, I we add glass and it became eyeglass. So the eyeglass now is a compound word. Halimbawa, yung eye o mata. Lagyan natin ng baso or glass. Pag dinugtong natin, magiging eyeglass na. So sama sa mata or eye. Itong punan o baso or glass, mahimo na siyang eyeglass. So duha ka pulong Giusa adunay bagong kahulugan. Two words connected and then we form one word which give us another meaning. Dalawang salita, eye at glass, pinag-isa at nagiging eyeglass. Dalawang salita, nagiging isa. Ngunit magkaiba na ang kahulugan. Compound words have three types. First one is closed compound words. Example, someone, seaplane, raincoats, newspaper. The second one is open compound words. Time zone, home port, mother tongue, hot dogs. And the last one is hyphenated, mother of pearl, son-in-law passers-by, and name-calling. The first type is closed. It is written as one. Ang unang halimbawa ng compound words ay ang closed compound words. Halimbawa ang someone mula sa salitang some at one. Pinag-isa at nabuo ang someone. Katulad ni si plane, raincoats at newspaper. Dalawang salita, tinatawag silang closed kasi tingnan nyo, someone, walang space sa gitna. Let us check si plane. There's no space between C and plane. They, they are connected, written in one word. So that is closed compound words. Duha ka pulong, apan giusa nato, wala gibutangan og space, giusa siya sa usa ka pulong. Mao ka na ang closed compound words. The second type of compound words is open. It is written with space between words. Halimbawa, time zone. Time at zone. May space sa gitna. Home port. Mother tongue. Hot dogs. Kahit iisa ang kahulugan or with, though these words have another meaning or one meaning but they are composed of two words. Binuo sila ng dalawang salita. Duha kapulong at tuang giusa aron mahimong compound words. Pero sa open compound words, wala nato sila gidikit. Dunay space sa tunga. 
mao kini ang open compound words. So this is open open compound words. Two words with one meaning, but they have space between the two of them. Dalawang salita ngunit may espasyo na inilagay sa gitna. That is the difference between closed and open uh, compound word. The last type of compound word is hyphenated. This is or th these are connected by a hyphen. Sa madaling salita, pinag-isa sila sa pamamagitan ng hyphen. Giusa sila sa usa ka bagis nga gitawag nato sa English nga hyphen. Kaya nga tinatawag siyang hyphenated. So an example, mother of pearl. So take note, have you seen a hyphen between words? So yan ang hyphenated compound words. Mother of per pearl from mother of and pearl, son-in-law from son and in law passers by, passers and by, name calling from name and calling. So two to three words connected by a hyphen. Dalawa hanggang tatlong salita pinag-isa ng hyphen. Duha o tulo ka mga pulong giusa sa usa ka uh, punctuation nga kitawag og hyphen. Mao kana ang hyphenated compound words. That is, hyphenated compound words. Yan ang hyphenated compound words. To understand better, let us take a look at this. In open, hot dog is written as one. In closed, there is space. This is the correct one. And in hyphenated, there is hyphen. So, sa open, sinulat bilang isa. Sa closed, may space. Naghiwahiwalay ang dalawang salita. Sa hyphen, may linya o bantas na tinatawag na hyphen. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell.